let's begin with an overview of Teradata. It is a Relational Database Management System, or RDBMS, typically used in data warehousing applications or data analysis. And it's an open system that can run on either Unix or Windows and fully supports multiple concurrent users from various client platforms. Again, if they're running Linux or Windows or really just about anything, they can absolutely connect. It is ANSI compliant and supports the structured query language and by default provides a parallel architecture for high and efficient performance. The software simply sits on your servers and all servers that are part of the project will all participate in the processing of any given workload in an even and efficient manner. So it offers large data warehousing support. It can scale from hundreds of gigabytes to over hundreds of petabytes of data on a single system. So very high scalability with excellent performance. And again, due to the parallel aware nature of the optimizer, Query tuning is often unnecessary. It will always spread that workload across multiple nodes, and you always get that automatic and even data distribution. So large amounts of concurrent users running multiple queries fully supported as well, and that will also be spread across all servers automatically. So you get that parallel architecture again by default. It supports ad hoc SQL queries, it offers the lowest total cost of ownership among most relational database management systems. And again, due to the nature of Teradata spreading its workload across multiple nodes, it offers by default, again, no single point of failure. And this, of course, just gives you some built-in fault tolerance so that when any, any single node becomes unavailable, the workload itself still continues to process. So typical uses then, uh, enterprise data warehousing, active data warehousing, customer relationship management, internet and e-business, and of course, data marts. All can be implemented on a Teradata database management system.